The Rocky Mountains stretch as far as the eye can see, towering over 14,000 feet into the sky. On one side, rain pours down in torrents, while on the other, the sun shines in a clear blue sky. But why is there such a dramatic difference? Let's discover how this 3,000-mile mountain range shapes the weather and ecosystems across North America in surprising ways. Let's start with some mind-blowing facts about our protagonist, the Rocky Mountains. These geological giants have been shaping North American weather for a staggering 76 million years. That's right, while dinosaurs were still roaming the Earth, the Rockies were already hard at work influencing climate patterns. When we talk about the Rockies, we're not just dealing with a few hills. The highest peak, Mount Elbert in Colorado, reaches a dizzying altitude of 14,440 feet. To put that into perspective, that's nearly three times the height of the tallest building in the world the Burj Khalifa. And this is just one peak in a range that stretches from British Columbia in Canada all the way down to New Mexico in the southern United States. But here's where it gets really interesting. These mountains aren't just sitting there looking pretty, although they certainly do that too. They're actively shaping the weather and climate of North America in ways that affect millions of people every single day often without them even realizing it. One of the most striking phenomena is the rain shadow effect. Imagine a cloud, heavy with moisture, moving steadily with the prevailing westerly winds. When it encounters the imposing barrier of the Rocky Mountains' western slopes, it's forced upward. This ascent triggers a significant transformation in weather patterns on either side of the range. What happens next is a remarkable display of meteorology in action. As you're forced up the mountainside, you start to cool down. Remember, as altitude increases, temperature decreases, a phenomenon known as a diabetic cooling. Now, cooler air can hold less moisture than warm air. So, as you rise and cool, you start to release your moisture as rain or snow. This is why the western slopes of the Rockies tend to be lush and green, receiving abundant precipitation. But the story doesn't end there. Once you've crossed the mountain peaks and started descending the eastern slopes, you're a changed cloud. You've lost most of your moisture, and as you descend, you warm up again. This warming air can hold more moisture, so instead of releasing water, it now starts to absorb it. The result? A rain shadow a much drier climate on the eastern side of the mountains. The rain shadow effect is so pronounced that it's responsible for creating some of the most dramatic landscape contrasts in North America. On one side of the Rockies, you might find yourself in a temperate rainforest. Cross to the other side, and you could be standing in the middle of a desert. It's like the mountains are drawing a line between two completely different worlds. But the Rockies' influence on weather doesn't stop at creating wet and dry zones. These mountains are also responsible for one of the most fascinating weather phenomena in North America, the Chinook winds. Chinook winds, also known as snow eaters, are a perfect example of how the Rockies can create weather that seems to defy logic. It's like the dead of winter in Alberta or Montana. The temperature is well below freezing, and there's a thick blanket of snow on the ground. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, a warm wind begins to blow from the mountains. Within hours, the temperature can raise by 50 degrees Fahrenheit or more. In that blanket of snow, it can vanish like magic. But there's no magic involved, just the incredible power of mountain meteorology. Chinook winds form when moist air from the Pacific is forced up and over the Rockies. As it descends the eastern slopes, it warms rapidly due to compression. The warming is so intense that by the time the air reaches the plains, it can be significantly warmer than when it started its journey on the Pacific coast. The effects of these winds can be dramatic. There are records of temperature increases of up to 80 degrees Fahrenheit in just a few hours. Imagine waking up to a frigid negative 20 Fahrenheit and by lunchtime, you're enjoying a balmy 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Mother Nature decided to fast forward through spring in the blink of an eye. But the Rockies' influence on weather goes far beyond these local effects. These mountains are crucial in shaping weather patterns across the entire continent and even have global impacts. But how do they impact everything around them? Let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. The Rocky Mountains essentially act as a giant barrier, splitting North America into two distinct climate regions. To the west, you have a maritime climate influenced by the Pacific Ocean. To the east, a continental climate dominates, characterized by greater temperature extremes. 
This continental scale impact is perhaps most dramatically illustrated by the formation of winter storms. When cold Arctic air plunges southward east of the Rockies, it can collide with warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico. The result? Some of the most powerful winter storms on the planet, including the infamous bomb cyclones that can paralyze entire regions with heavy snow and high winds. But the Rockies don't just influence winter weather. They also play a key role in summer weather patterns. During the warmer months, the mountains help to anchor the jet stream, that river of fast-moving air high in the atmosphere that plays a crucial role in weather patterns. The positioning of the jet stream, influenced by the Rockies, can determine whether a summer is unusually hot and dry or cool and wet for large parts of North America. Now, let's explore something truly fascinating, the concept of microclimates within the Rocky Mountain Range. Microclimates are small-scale climate systems that can vary significantly from the surrounding areas, often over very short distances. In the Rockies, you can find a dizzying array of microclimates, sometimes changing dramatically within just a few hundred feet. This is due to factors like elevation, slope orientation, and local topography. Uh, for instance, a south-facing slope might be warm and dry, perfect for certain types of plants and animals. Just across the valley, a north-facing slope could be cool and moist, supporting an entirely different ecosystem. These microclimates aren't just interesting from a scientific perspective. They have real-world implications. They affect everything from where certain plants and animals can survive, to where ski resorts can operate, to how wildfires might spread. Understanding these microclimates is crucial for everything from wildlife conservation to urban planning in mountain communities. Speaking of wildlife, the Rocky Mountain's influence on weather has shaped the evolution of countless species. The diverse microclimates and ecosystems created by the mountain's weather effects have led to incredible biodiversity. Some species are found nowhere else on Earth, having adapted to the unique conditions created by the Rockies' weather-shaping powers. But the Rockies' influence doesn't stop at the foot of the mountains. The weather patterns they create have far-reaching effects on agriculture across North America. The rain shadow effect we discussed earlier? It's a major reason why the Great Plains to the east of the Rockies became America's breadbasket. The drier conditions created by the mountain's rain shadow are perfect for growing crops like wheat. However, this same effect can also lead to challenges. The rain shadow contributes to the semi-arid conditions that make parts of the Great Plains susceptible to drought. When combined with certain farming practices, this has led to environmental disasters in the past, such as the Dust Bowl of the 1930s. If you found this exploration of the Rocky Mountains' impact on weather fascinating, you won't want to miss our other video, Why the Rocky Mountains' Geography is So Fascinating.